Greetings, YouTube. Today I got two packages in the mail. One I was expecting. I didn't know it was going to show up this week, but I knew eventually it would come into my house, or to my shipping address. And it is the um, Dave Arneson's Blackmore. Um, I picked up the proper Blackmore book, the um, Player's Guide to Blackmore, and the Redwood Scar Adventure, um, all of them in near mint condition, as the NM stands for, um, for a total of $18, shipping included. It was an awesome deal. And it was a very long box. And I wasn't expecting a long box. I have a toner cartridge coming, but if they shipped the toner cartridge to this box, I was going to have somebody's head. The toner cartridge is like this big. box is like this long. So I brought it home, opened up the invoice, and I'm like, I didn't order one of these. Opened up the box, took out what was in the box, and I'm thinking, I didn't order one of these, though I did want one. And what did I find to my wondering eyes? One of these. This, in all its glory, let me give you a full view, is a polymer gun stock war club. And this right here is a plastic sheath. You take the plastic sheath off, you remove the plastic sheath, and you have a blade. Now the blade is not sharpened, it doesn't need to, it's an impact weapon really. It's also designed for throwing. Uh, I've seen it thrown online by a very large man, because in his hand this thing looks even look smaller than this. Um, but this is taken from a Native American design, uh, because they would actually reuse the gun stocks um, from the early era, before they actually had the technology to make use of the firearm, because they didn't have access to the gunpowder and such. Um, and they became uh, uh, an overall tribal weapon, so you can actually see how the gun stock would fit here against someone's shoulder, and they would they turn them into uh, usable handheld impact weapons and throwing weapons. And this one is, you know, it's got the it's got a beveled cross section. Do what it looks like like that. Very similar to what it would would be in an actual uh, now. I'm thinking someone out there who's looking at this video sent this to me. Now, I just don't know who that someone is. I have some suspicions, but I have no guarantees. So, whoever you are, why don't you fess up and tell me who the heck it is that sent this to me?